you something, Andrew. When you're brought up the way I am, the way most people are in this country, there's not a whole lot of discussion about homosexuality or uh, what do you call it, alternate lifestyles. As a kid, you're taught that queers are funny, queers are weird, queers dress up like their mother, that they're afraid to fight, that they, they're a danger to little kids, and that all they want to do is to get into your pants. The fate of gay characters in American literature, plays, films, is really the same as the fate of all characters who are sexually free. If you're a woman who has another woman, you better go hang yourself. It's a question of degree, and certainly if you're gay, you have to do real penance, die. You're a sad and pathetic man. You're a homosexual and you don't want to be. But there's nothing you can do to change it. Not all your prayers to your God. Not all the analysis you can buy in all the years you've got left to live. You may very well one day be able to know a heterosexual life. Why am I crying? Why does this still get to me? This is just an old, silly movie, you know, and people don't feel this way anymore. But I don't think that's true. I think people do feel that way today still. And there's part of me, despite all my little signs, you know, like, happy, proud, well-adjusted, bisexual, queer, kinky, you know, no matter how many posters I hold up saying, I'm a big pervert and I'm so happy about it, there's this part of me that's like, how could I be this way? Your Honor, everybody in this courtroom is thinking about sexual orientation, you know, sexual preference, whatever you want to call it. Who does what to whom and how they do it. I mean, they're looking at Andrew Beckett. They're thinking about it. They're looking at Mr. Wheeler, Miss Conine, even you, Your Honor. They're wondering about it. <laughs> Trust me, I know that they are looking at me and thinking about it. So let's just get it out in the open. Let's, let's, let's get it out of the closet. Because this case is not just about AIDS, is it? So let's talk about what this case is really all about. The general public's hatred, our loathing, our fear of homosexuals. I want to recruit you for the fight to preserve your democracy. Brothers and sisters, you must come out. Come out to your parents. Come out to your friends, if indeed they are your friends. Come out to your neighbors. Come out to your fellow workers once and for all. Let's break down the myths and destroy the lies and distortion. There's been an incredible era of censorship of, I wouldn't say positive images of gays and lesbians, I would say real images of gays and lesbians. Because think of all the heroic stories that are real. Here, gay and lesbian people have lived braving the ostracism of society, loving each other, surviving. There are so many heroic stories that are just real.